We'll start with a couple easy examples for division. So I might have 15 divided by 3 in, and I'd like to do this in binary. So 15 in binary is, and 3 is 1, 1. So I'm going to do this pretty much the same way you would with regular decimals, except that I'm going to remember how to do subtraction in binary. So 11 does not go into 1. So I will put a 0 in that position, and I'll pull down this next one. So 11 does go into 11, goes in one time. So I will write down 1 times 11 is 11. Now if I do this subtraction, I'm left with 0, and I can pull down a 1. So 11 doesn't go into 1, so I have to write down a 0, and I pull down the next bit. Now 11 does go into 11, goes in exactly one time, so I write down 11 to my subtraction, and I'm left with 0. So hopefully this is 5, and if I look at my number line, I do see 5 over there. So 15 divided by 3 gives me 5 in binary, which is exactly what we'd expect. If I try something a little more interesting, I could try 15 divided by 5, which wouldn't be too much better. I could try, say, 9 divided by 3. 9 is, and 3, as we saw, is 11. So 11 does not go into 1. Okay, 11 does not go into 10. So I've got zeros in both of those positions. 11 will go into 100. And in binary, we only have choices of 0 or 1, so it obviously goes in one time. And I'll subtract 11. So 100 minus 11 gives me 1. And then I'll pull down my next bit, which is a 1. And I can see that 11 does go into 11 exactly one time. Subtract the 11, and I'm left with 0. So 3 times 3 is 9 in binary. If I do 12 divided by 4, I would start with 12 and divide by 4. So 100 does not go into 1. Okay. 100 does not go into 11. Okay. 100 does go into 110. Exactly one time. So I do this subtraction, I'm left with 10. Then I pull down the next bit. And I say that 100 goes into 100 one time. So I'll subtract 100, I'm left with 0. And I can say that 100 goes into 1100 exactly 11 times in binary or 4 divides into 12 exactly 3 times in decimal.